this video we will begin with data representation i have divided this unit into two parts for simplicity in this video i will familiarize you with the concept of user defined data types and file organization and in the following video we will discuss mantis and exponents user defined data types are super important as they allow us to create data types which are specific to applications they are derived from one or more existing data types and used to extend built-in data types. They are necessary when the programming language used provides no suitable data type. The programmer in this case needs to specify a new data type which will meet the requirements of the application. There are two kinds of user-defined data types, non-composite user-defined data types and composite user-defined data types. Non-composite user-defined data types have a single data type that do not involve a reference to any other type and are usually already built into the programming language. Composite data types are those which are constructed from other data types. Now let's look at each in some more detail. You might be aware with some of the few basic data types um, that of non-composite data types. These are basically integers, uh, boolean, real, string, um, but in addition to these, in addition to integers, real, boolean, um, character, and string, we will be looking at two new ones, uh, which are enumerated and pointers. Enumerated data types. Define a list of possible data values, and these values are ordinal and not strings, which means they can be compared. The user-defined data types, which are of enumerated kind, have to be explicitly defined before the identifier. Here's an example. Take some time and go through this code. In here, we're defining two data types, T directions and T days. T directions has four values, north, east, south, west, and T days has all the days of the week. Next, we are declaring two variables and we are first giving them their data types, which is T directions and T days. Now, the identifier fires or variables, direction one and start day are then given their values, which in this case are North and Tuesday. It is very important to remember that first we have to define the data type um, that we have done over here, and then uh, the variables have to be assigned the data types, after which you can um, give them their values. Now let's continue with the same example. Um, so over here, let's take advantage of the fact that the values are in fact ordinal and can be compared and not just some string values. So let's look at this example. Okay, so the code here is declare weekend as boolean and declare day as t days. So weekend is true if day is more than Friday. So in this case, if the value of day is anything more than Friday, which in this case is Saturday and Sunday, the value of weekend will be true, which in fact is true because weekends are Saturdays and Sundays, right? So let's move to pointer data types. Uh, these are whole numbers used to reference a memory location. A pointer definition has to relate the data type of the variable. This may be used to create dynamically varying databases. Let's look at a simple example and um, I would suggest that the best way to learn what actually pointers are is via some past papers. Uh, if you're enrolled for A levels, um, then I would probably be doing a question on pointers at the end of the video, so stick around. Okay, so the data type over here is T my pointer. Um, and which has to, add the, in this specific syntax, um, be given the data type of the memory location. What kind of data is existing at the memory location? Is it a string value? Is it a real value? Is it a Boolean value? Um, that is what is supposed to be um, mentioned over here, right? So then we are declaring a variable, which is my pointer, 
and my pointer is of the data type t my pointer which is the user defined data type we just created right now the other variable value pointed to is given the uh, same value as my pointer now my pointer will have the value of the uh, of whatever is at the memory location right so if it is memory location 8132 for example so my pointer will have that same value and that same value will, will be fed to my value pointed to the variable value pointed to okay so now let's move to composite data types okay um, now that we are done with user non-composite data types uh, we will now start with composite data types So these are a few data types that you might already be aware uh, by doing your AS levels. Um, it is already covered in the syllabus. So I've just written everything down and some kind of definition about it. Feel free to pause and go through all of it. Um, there are quite a few other examples such as stacks, queue, linked clicks, dictionaries, which we will definitely cover later, but that is not a part of this chapter. Um, two new ones which are really important for this chapter are record data types which we have uh, mentioned over here and set data types okay let's do them in detail so record data types these are a collection of related items which may have different data types now some might consider this similar to an array but it is important to notice the difference in an array uh, they only comprise of one data type and in a record it may be able to comprise of different data types. A particular use of a record is for the implementation of a data structure where only one or possibly two of the variables defined are pointer variables. Okay, so let's look at an example. So we have defined a record data type. The name of the data type is book, and there are several fields into which, um, I'm just calling them fields, but um, we can call them identifiers into the record data type. Um, now these are, as you can see, of several data types. We have integers, strings, we have enumerated, and we have an array as well. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, that's not enumerated, that's a list, okay? As you can see, we have used appropriate um, data types everywhere and as been code has to be an integer and author name has to be a string uh, so on and so so now to access a particular f value in a record data type we have to use the dot notation and this is how it happens so here we are giving the uh, field author the value gerald okay that's the name of the author and to access the author field or the author value to add the value Gerald into author we are using the book dot notation so dot book dot author okay so now let's move on to set data types set data types are in fact pretty easy uh, set data types store a finite number of different values that have no order and they support mathematical operations the operations are as follows union difference intersection include an element in the set exclude an element in the set or check whether element is there in the set uh, 